Okay, we have a request from Usagi Yumi Uchiha. She's having a problem with her picture and she needs help on how to do a background. So we're going to help her with that. Here's the picture she's using. And, you know, a little detailed. There's always a couple of options to any type of editing you do. Um, so we'll, we'll check those out. Alright, so we're going to do what I always do, which is always make a copy in case something goes wrong, you have the original ready. So, in the eraser tool you have three different types of erasers. You have regular eraser, will just erase the whole thing like in paint, no big thing. And then you have the background eraser tool, which I haven't used too much, so I'm not going to say I know much about it. Um, and then we have the tool I mainly use, which is the magic eraser tool. Um, it has a tolerance level, which um, you know can go up, I believe, to like 999. That'll get rid of any similar colors. Nine times out of ten, this works great. Um, the normal eraser is good for maybe some, you know, really tight corners, or um, Magic is just doing it too much. So uh, let's go ahead. We'll try the Magic eraser first. See how that goes. We're gonna keep the tolerance at 100. Note to self, unlook at your background picture because otherwise it's not going to look like anything changed. So let's get rid of the background visual. Alright, so there you can see it got rid of basically the entire background and she's still in one pretty decent solid piece. So let's just finish with that. Okay, now you're going to see that it's going to cut into the picture a little bit. So we'll do it again. Alright, you see how it's green, we'll do eraser, but it went all the way over here. So, we don't want that to happen, obviously, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the tolerance level, and we're going to lower it. Let's take it down to about 75 first, see what that gives us. Okay, that's a little better now. Let's go ahead and get rid of the rest. And this is where I like to make a new layer and have it be black. That way any green that's left over, any bright color especially, um, will stand out. We'll just put that behind her. See, we have all this that you wouldn't have seen before. So we're going to go ahead and at this point basically take the normal eraser and just erase what we don't want, which is all up here. And again, like I said, there's those tight points. Now, you can go ahead and do Magic Eraser. And again, 9 times out of 10, it works fine. But say you don't want it to take away that much of the hair, just go ahead with the regular eraser. Um, change the size down so that it fits accordingly. And, uh, and just go in and erase it by hand. Obviously, it takes a little bit more time, but you get a nice, cleaner look at the end. That quick comeback you saw me just do, that is with Control Z. That is the undo button. Also works on MS Paint. Um, but unlike MS Paint, you can go back as far as you need to in Adobe. MS Paint only lets you go back three times. Alright, so let's take a look at it. And it looks like we got rid of the background, so we'll get rid of this since we don't need this layer anymore. And there you go, you see the trees are completely gone. You might want to go in and clean up some areas, um, either erase them or just, that was telling me the layer I wanted to erase wasn't selected. Go ahead and just, you know, erase it by hand, smooth it out. And there you go. Now as far as putting a background, in the back of a picture there's literally an endless set of ways, but in the end I think it boils down to about two. One, uh, you go ahead you make your own background, which we're going to do by uh, putting a new layer again, and you can either go ahead and make the background in front of the character, which say we just wanted a black background, you're going to get that. Um, otherwise go ahead and 
you know, just put it behind the character, and that way, there you go, you get that result. So, let's say I wanted to make one of the gradient backgrounds that come here. Go to your gradient tool, go to edit to choose any type you want. There's a whole bunch of presets available, but you can go ahead and edit them at any time. So I'm just going to stay with, um, these are noise samples, by the way. I'm going to go to the purple one. All right. I like the color. I don't need to really change anything, but if I wanted to, I could take red away, I could take the green away, and so on and so forth. So we'll do that. And now you get different choice. You have classic gradient line. All right. You just drag in whatever direction, and you get that. Depending on how long the line is that you make, is how long the um, that bar you see in the middle dividing the two colors is going to be. See? But if I make it small, it's going to be a smaller line. All right. And again, any direction, you, you figure out which way to move stuff to get it in the facing way you want. Like if I wanted to go horizontal, it's funny, you have to go down to get it horizontal. So, say I'm happy with that, bring it behind, and there you go. All right. And again, you just play with it. There's a bunch of other ones available. There's the circle, does that. There's this one. I don't know what to call it, but this is a popular one I use a lot. Um, again, another line, but this is kind of a mirrored image, so that's that. And then there's square, which is similar to circle, but square shaped. All right. Another way you can put a background is using an already existing picture. And what you're going to do is go to place. You don't go to open, because if you go to open, it's going to open a whole new picture. So um, the easiest thing, say I want to go ahead and use this background. We're going to open it and again hit place. And this is where it's good sometimes to have the picture in front of the picture you want to put it behind because you're going to probably nine times out of ten have to adjust the size of the photo. And uh, we kind of went over this a little bit as far as uh, constraining the proportions because if I just grab it and go up and down, it's going to deform it and it's not going to look as neat. Um, so I always like to have my constraint proportion box checked and that's going to keep the original size of the picture as I drag it around. It's going to keep it even. You, you see how it's doing that? So that's that. And obviously, you know, there's lettering here. We don't want that. So we're just going to hide that off the edges of the frame and put the colors in we do want. So we'll say we're happy with that. We'll check the OK box. And obviously it's blocking our character. We don't want that, so we're going to drag it down behind it. And there you go brand new background compared to what we originally started off with which was nothing but a bunch of trees so that's basically how you erase and uh, set up a new background I hope that's helped you out Usagi and uh, you know again anytime you got a problem I'll be more than happy to help thanks and have a good day